Hey guys, it's Pussy Destroyer 79 here, back with another hot video. This time it's a little bit of a story time video. Now I know I detest the term story time. It reminds me of that time I was obsessed with watching mommy bloggers on YouTube. However, this time it's a little bit of a story of my first magic show. Spoilers, it was the magic of Ariel and Merlin. I couldn't think of a cheesier title if I worked for Velda Farms. The only way it could get cheesier is if Chester the Cheetah ground up Cheetos, snorted them, ate a cheesy gordita crunch, and ejaculated streams of cheese whiz all over the colony theater. Anyways, the magicians that were graced with the title of popping Piggy's magic show Cherry were Ariel and Merlin. So Ariel and Merlin took my magic show V card faster than Jabrizi plays the race card anytime his abilities are called out. So I'm perusing down the beach with the person I happen to stick my penis in, and we notice, hey, there's a magic show. Wow, I'm a magician. We should go and watch this magic show. We buy our grossly overpriced tickets and sit down in the back of the house and notice that there is a large conglomeration of people of Jewish ethnicity in the front of the audience. I'm not being anti-Semitic when I say that these are the Jewiest Jews that ever Jewed. Again, nothing wrong with that, but it's glaringly obvious when one of their ringtones go off and it's Hava Nagila. Anyways, that's beside the point. I'm not even kidding when I say that Final Countdown was playing as people were filling in the seats. I'm also using that term very, very graciously because when I mean filling up the seats, I mean maybe 20 people were there in that theater that could fit probably 500 people max. So I would consider a little bit of an intimate show. After my palette was ingratiated with 80s hair metal, Ariel and Merlin finally show up on stage and decide to perform what has to be an amalgam of tricks that they've ripped off from everyone else. From the start of the show, they draw attention to a box that contains a prediction that will make sense later on in the show. Of course, in my head, I'm like, wow, they're going to end with David Copperfield prediction where they predict a place that somebody would love to travel to, a random number, as well as the name of a significant other. Lo and behold, about 20 minutes into the act, they pull somebody from the audience and ask him to name a place they would love to go to. Of course, the person says Israel. No shocker there. They, of course, name a random number and are then asked to come up with a name of significance. Ariel, being the daft Cuban that he is, could not pronounce the very Jew name that came out of this person's mouth, so they had to improvise. Of course, the revelation was the exact same way that David Copperfield performed it on his magic special, but that's beside the point. So we were treated to about an hour and a half of what they consider to be magic and what I consider to be a complete ripoff of every major magician in the past century. At some point in the show, Merlin grabs a bottle of Windex and begins to chug it. At this point, I turn to my significant other, who I happen to stick my penis in, and say, I can almost guarantee you that he's going to say, this prevents me from streaking. And of course, they ripped off the Amazing Jonathan line, almost exactly as I called it. Now, don't get me wrong. The tricks in the show weren't bad at all. They're very well-established tricks. You had the origami illusion. You had the classic metamorphosis effect. You had a bunch of tricks that had been well-known in the magic community. What was horrendous, though, was that there was no sub-story, no backplot. It was almost as if they purchased all these tricks and decided to perform them one after the other without any rhyme or reason. It took me less than 10 seconds to come up with a cohesive storyline of both magicians trying to out magic each other by doing more and more impressive tricks. However, that was too much effort for them. So all in all, my first magical show was an overpriced, awful experience. If you ever have the opportunity to watch the magic of Ariel and Merlin, your money is better spent on Kids Bop 18 or the ever-coveted Alvin and the Chipmunks present Saving Private Ryan. I hope you guys have a better experience when it comes to your first magic shows. I know that mine was horrendous, but it's only gotten better since. The benefit of seeing a really shitty magic show as your first one is that you could only go upward. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little story. I'm going to go figure out different ways to use an air conditioner unit to air conditioner a unit. You again, when I see you again, when I see you Shit, good, 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 good,